In this video, we're going to review unit conversions and explore how we can calculate such conversions in a programming language called Python. If you've never worked with Python or any programming language before, that's okay. This video is a good place to start. In physics, engineering, and any of the sciences, you're going to have to work with different units. For example, some length measurements will be given in centimeters, some will be given in inches, and some will be given in light years. It's important to learn how units relate to each other so that you can make sure that the information you're reading makes sense. Therefore, it's important to learn how to convert between different sets of units. Let's suppose, for example, that you measured the height of a room to be 8 feet. You want to buy a set of furniture to go in the room, but their heights are all measured in different units. One is measured in inches, one in yards, and one is even in meters. You would need to convert your 8 feet into each of these units to make sure the furniture can fit in this room. First, let's convert the feet into inches. We start with the 8 feet. Then we multiply this measurement by a fraction with feet on the bottom and inches on the top. There are 12 inches in one foot, so we place a 12 on the top and a 1 on the bottom. Finally, when we multiply, we get a number of 96 and units of inches since the two feet cancel. The process for converting to yards is very similar. Again, we start with 8 feet. In our fraction, feet will go on the bottom and yards will go on the top. There are 3 feet in 1 yard, so we write a 1 on top and a 3 on the bottom. When we multiply, we get a number of 2.67 and units of yards. Notice that the number gets bigger when we change to a smaller unit, but smaller when we change to a bigger unit. This computer code can help us with this process, since it can remember the unit conversions we need and it can perform the calculations for us. It's written in a language called Python and can be run from a link in the description below. In the result window, we can see the conversion to inches, to yards, and even to meters. The code works by first saving our measurement in a variable called feet. When a line of code has an equal sign like this, you should read it as the number 8 being stored under the name feet. Then, the code calculates the conversion to inches and stores the number in a variable called inches. Python, like many calculators, uses the asterisk symbol for multiplication. Then, the code calculates the conversion to yards and stores the number in a variable called yards. Python, like many calculators, uses the forward slash symbol for division. Finally, the code calculates the conversion to meters and, you guessed it, stores the number in a variable called meters. Python, like many calculators, uses the period symbol for a decimal point. One of the best parts about programming is that you can give a variable any name you want, so you can always choose a name that makes sense to you. Now, these calculations alone won't actually give us any of these answers. We have to tell the code to display these calculations on the screen, which we can do using the print function. The print function displays whatever we tell it to in the result window on the right. The first print function displays the value of the variable inches, which is 96, and the word inches so that we know what units we're working with. The code knows the difference between the variable inches and the word inches because of the quotation marks. Each time we use the print function, it begins on a new line in the result window. You can add as many print functions as you want in a code. You can also add as many items to the print function as you want. Our last print function has four items, a variable, some text, another variable, and more text. Together they create a sentence. You just have to separate each item in your print function with a comma. Now, you might have seen in class that some unit conversions involve very big numbers. For example, converting from kilometers to millimeters requires multiplying the number of kilometers by one million. It can be difficult to count out the correct number of zeros on a computer screen, but fortunately, Python knows scientific notation. In scientific notation, 1 million is 1 times 10 to the 6th power. To write this number in Python, you can simply type 1e6. The number after the lowercase e is the power that 10 is raised to. You have now learned how to set up simple unit conversion calculations in Python, including conversions involving scientific notation, and how to display the results of these calculations on the screen. In the description below, you can find more activities to perform using this code.